Got the odd snare, a good little stew is good, eh? Alright, stop, have a cup of tea. And then junk pile. Gloves. Ribbon, glasses. Nice cup of tea on the trail, always good. Enjoying the view. Sure, it's got to be at least 25 below. So I set uh, five more leg holds today. So we're going to give her one last try. Well, hopefully not last try. 
got till the end of March here to trap wolves, but getting milder and milder and the traps are starting to thaw out, so. I'm going to check him here tonight again. Been pretty slow in the past seven, ten days. Ever since I pinched that last one there. I got a tree line that separates my line and the one to the south. The, the big cut block there where I got all those wolf sets and the wolves are all hung up in the big deer yard to the south and just devastating them. So, seen a few tracks that came up the other day and uh, and onto my side of the line, but they just come out in the trail and they just dove right back in the trees. And uh, I kind of found a spot where they're hitting the bait. They're not running the trails at all. They're allergic to them trails now that I pinch that one there's only like two or three wolves together right one big one and uh I think he's keeping the rest of them away he knows all right we'll check these out just thought to show you here this is the kind of trail that I set on um I'll jump off the main trail I'll groom some main trails like way out there big loop and then off of that is where I'll branch and make these little bushwhacking trails and set on these. And for some reason, there's some side by side that was bored with the nice old trails that I groomed for them and nice big white trails and they had to follow all my trails. And these are pretty thick trails. Like all there was was one little snowmobile track and I just wind and weave through these branches and make my way through and, you know, set some P posts and traps. And that side by side I had to come through here and they're really wide. You can see one track there and one there, right? Well, they tripped seven of my traps here. So, wasn't too happy about that. Yeah, well, people are just so curious, eh? too close to this very often. Not too often you get close to Golden Eagle again. flying down the road I'm not too sure what's going on getting the fly show you his wingspan look at that down near the width of the road eh look at that isn't that something else
right through here. I noticed they've been walking through here, right? And uh, the wolves used to run through here, and I see the coyotes moved in here. So the wolves obviously aren't around if the coyotes are here. But I got a trap right there, right there. And there's a track from the chain. Where they walked right on top of the trap. That's how you set your pan tensions properly to be uh, selective. So you don't get lynx and whatever else would come in here. Checking some wolf traps. Figure we stop on the way and have a little weenie roast. What's the little young whale in here? What's your name? What's your name? Whalen. Whalen. Are you eating oranges? Yeah. <laughs> and having a cup of ginger ale. Waiting for a hot dog. Yeah. There's Jordan. Hit the trail. We brought a cooler and some lunch. Got all the fixins. Nice day out. Must be close to plus 10 C. Wolves have been playing us here in the last little while. It's been a while since uh, we've seen any sign around the wolf sets. We're actually south of our line here now and uh the wolves have been hanging around and chasing these deer around south of my trap line so we went down to 38 below for a week well 38 was the lowest it went nothing was moving and then it went right up to 10 above melted out a whole bunch of traps and some side by side cruised around and tripped a whole bunch of them so it kind of screwed up the process so now we got them all reset I reset them a few days ago here and uh, we'll see what happens from now not too many days left she's getting pretty mild out and just need a bit of luck they've been uh, hanging around so much down in the southern portion here chasing these deer around and there's only about two or three wolves together and the odd time they'll come north and walk on my line, but I must have, that last episode I had here, I missed one, so, and I'm assuming that was probably one of the alphas, and once they get pinched, they're pretty wise, and they stay away from the pee posts. So we'll see what happens, but kind of running out of time. Just need a bit of luck here. All right. Another example of setting your pans properly. There's a lynx track all the way down the trail. And here's one of my traps, which is right there. Stepped right on top of it, never went off. And he just kept going. And all the way down the trail he went. Got to set your pants properly if you just want to catch wolves. I just pulled up to one of my baits here and look what's here. Just sitting there. <laughs> Little lynx. They're not very good. Yellow. Get late, eh? 